Purple Gems, welcome to From Rock to Ruby, I'm Erica, and today's video we are talking about stress. So yes, if you guys are feeling stressed right now, or if you're prone to being stressed, then watch these videos to learn some effective strategies that I use that help me manage my stress, and I am so certain that some of these you can apply in your own life to help you manage your stress as well. statistic for you guys. Did you know that 75% of physician visits are due to stress-related illnesses? Yes. I mean from um, ulcers to uh, migraines to diabetes to cancers to tumors. I mean all these things that are happening from the inside of our body due to stress. All right, I had to get my coffee for this one. Something really weird about talking about stress, I feel like it's making me feel stressed. It's so bizarre, right? So I mean, dealing with stress or having stress is something that's common for all of us to go through. I go through stress as well. Right now, I am going through finals, presentations, it's a lot of stuff and um, I'm just involved in so much that I, I get the pressure of stress. And you know what, it's not that you won't get stress, but it's about how to manage stress, how to combat stress when you have it and if you're able to to not have stress at all then uh, that's amazing I mean so the first effective strategy for managing your stress and this is so important and I don't know why I haven't done this sooner but the first one is to take inventory yes how are you going to know what are the causes of stress in your life what are the things that you have burdened and put in your own plate that is causing more stress stress that you were not meant to carry you see our our bodies our our limits our mind we can only take in so much because see god says that today's trouble carries enough weight of itself so when you bring tomorrow's trouble into today guess what you just did you just double loaded your plate of trouble you just double loaded your plate of stress i wrote about i just took inventory and what that means is just writing down all your responsibilities all the things that you are involved in commitments that you have you know so whether it's your children your home your school your work different ministries right each ministry that you're involved in all these things and and take a look at it and see where it is that you're needed what are your priorities and then what are you passionate about and then and then also it's so important too you need to make sure what you have on your, your schedule on your list of commitments does it line up with your purpose is it aligned with your purpose if you are in all these other commitments and all the other things because you feel bad to say no to believe me I'm in that boat um, but are they not are they aligning with your purpose are you are not meant to fulfill every single need that is given God has given you an objective on this earth you have a purpose on this earth and are you doing things that align with your purpose because see one thing that the devil will do is he will keep you busy if he cannot make you bad and one thing that is very common for leaders and leadership is over commitment you know, you may have this goal, this vision to do, but you have a blockade in front of you. You have this whole wall of Jericho that has not fallen down and you can't even get around it. And God is showing you, break it down, pull this down, get out of this, stop doing that, say no to this, but you haven't yet. So you have to take inventory. The next one is to say no. And this one, I had um, a sister of mine and her, and, and her amazing wisdom tell, told me that, you know what, sometimes it's healthy healthier to say no and there was this saying I heard from um, some really successful person in the business world who said they learned more the, that what the one thing that has helped them be the most successful is learning to say no so the power of no and that's not something that is really talked about a lot especially in like the Christian church right we feel like we always have to say yes to say yes to comes to service when it comes to serving and doing service um, um, commitments because we feel that you know God says serve 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 and we're here to serve so let's just keep serving 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 but the problem is when you are serving people and not serving God you see if God says Erica Maria Michelle Jessica I want you to do this and by being being obedient as, as an obedient servant to God you, you do that you do what he's told you to do but if you have this person saying oh but I want you to do this but see when you're serving this person and you no longer are serving what God wants you to do, that's when the conflict comes, that's when it becomes a problem. It's not a matter of serving in itself, it's when you are choosing to serve other people and their purposes and their duties, where you are no longer serving the purpose that God has for you, for your own life. You know, there's reasons why God has called you to do something. There may be souls that he wants you to reach, there may be finances that he wants you to, to use you to bless others, and I mean, there's a reason why God has given you your own assigned tasks to do. 
God will raise other people up to do other things. But if you keep saying yes to everything, then the, the, the plan that God wants to do through you, not just for you, but through you to reach other people will be hindered. What if there was someone in another country who was just waiting to receive something that only could have happened through you or that God wanted to do through you? So not only would it have blessed that person, but it would have blessed you. But because you're so busy doing all these menial tasks, doing all these things to keep busy, you missed out. You missed out. So learning to say no and, and praying to God about it, asking the Lord to help show you like, Lord, what is my priorities? What am I to say no to? And you'll get a check in your spirit. Like you, you'll just know what in your spirit is not sitting right. You, you'll, you may feel guilty. It may be through guilt. It may, it may be for feeling stress, right? Those are some kind of um, symptoms that warning, warning, this is not a task for you to take on right now. Say no, say no. So are you concerned more about people's feelings as opposed to God's feelings? And when you take it from that perspective, that should be the perspective that we have is, you know what? Like I need to please God over people and I need to be more fearful of, of God's, God's looking down on me than a man or a woman or, or some event or ministry looking down on me or a social event, right? So it's important that we align our nose with, what, with, with God's yeses. Something else that helps me when I'm stressed, not even just stressed, but even when I'm just feeling, you know, sometimes you kind of just have that like, just your, your spirit's just down. You just have this really like ugly feeling. You just like blah. Um, so when I'm going through that or I'm feeling stressed, one thing that I tell myself, Erica, get your mind off yourself right now. You need to reach out to someone. So what I've gotten in the habit of doing is when I feel that way, I, I immediately am like, okay, I cannot entertain these thoughts. I can't entertain this, this feeling because this is not of the Lord. So I'm like, you know what? I need to go reach out to someone. So what I will do is some of my sisters that I talk to and I help disciple, I will just contact them and just text them. Like, how are you guys doing? How can I pray for you? What's going on with you? And I don't only do that when I'm stressed out, but I know when, when, I, when I am specifically stressed out, I try to get my mind off myself. I just feel so much better because with me, I feel good when I help others people, when I help others feel good. And so automatically when, when someone, um, I'm able to help them in some way, it, it helps build me up. It helps my spirit. And now it's not, not just is their spirit lifted, but mine is too. You see how, how God's a relational God. He wants us to be in fellowship, to edify each other, to use each other in these ways. Um, that's what God, God is a relational God. And so it, it's to me not surprising that when I reach out to other people and I get my mind on others, others' problems and on my own, that it helps me as well. It makes complete sense. So something else that helps me with managing stress is when I have a task, especially like a big daunting task that needs to be done, or a commitment, um, breaking it up into smaller tasks. So if me being in school, if I have a big assignment that's due, instead of cramming it, doing it all you know, at once, which I've done plenty of times, um, that's stressful, that's so stressful, right? And now you lack sleep and you're tired and irritated the next morning and you're just stressed out. And so breaking a big task up into smaller tasks. So let's say, you know, even when it comes to filming like this, you know, I have to get my, my setup done, I have to get ready, I have to film the video, I have to stop it, and then, you know, I have to make sure my battery's charged, and then I have to the editing process, and editing is a whole process in itself, and then uploading, and I mean, there's a whole thing. So, I mean, there's no way I can do it all in one day. There's some times where I do try to squeeze it in, but I get stressed. I get stressed if I do it that way. So spinning, taking days where it's okay, you know, filming days, editing, uploading, you know? Um, so if you have a task that you have to do and it's a big task, breaking it up into smaller tasks, you know, doing, you know, one, two, three this day and four, five, six this day. Um, and so that way you, you have less of a load on you and you're focused only on accomplishing this part of that load today. So you're not bringing the whole load into today, you're just bringing this part of the load into today. And then tomorrow's load will take care of tomorrow's load. So breaking smaller tasks, Breaking, breaking big tasks into smaller tasks. Another effective strategy that I use when I am stressed out is I get into my word. I will read scriptures out loud over myself pertaining to the specific area that I am stressed about. So let's say it's finances, that I will read the scripture, God my gosh, to supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. I'll listen to motivational messages relating to the issue. Maybe it's trust, maybe it's in faith, maybe it's in um, relationships or something like that. Let's say you're stressed about your, your future, your direction of life. You don't know where you're going. And it's a scripture that says, um, the Lord shall guide thee continually. Um, 
um, the Lord will counsel you whether to the right or to the left, right? So those scriptures like that to help you with direction, with guidance, where with direction, where you're going in your life, right? So reading scriptures over yourself that pertain to what you're being stressed about, and even just reading scripture related to stress, right? Be anxious for nothing and everything prayer. And that's something that I'm learning to do. When I get anxious or I'm feeling stressful, I even will go to what that scripture is saying. It says pray. So I'm going to start praying over this right now. Something else that's really effective for stress as well is exercise. Exercising really helps you to release tension and stress in your body when you let it out through, you know, your yourself being moved, just just moving, moving whether it's going for a walk or a run or a jog. You just kill. Stress is deep. People get depressed and suicidal over stress related issues. I mean, it's a real real concern here and the biggest thing that's going to help you with combating stress is faith. And ultimately, a lot of stress comes from just doubt, from fear, of, of anxiety, of not knowing what's going to happen, where, where is this going to come from, how is this going to happen, all these irrelevant questions that God is saying, give it to me, give it to me, Take, give me your burdens, cast your burdens on me, my yoke is easy and light, right? So one of the best ways of combating stress more than all these that I've talked to you guys about is developing faith and trusting God and you don't trust someone you don't know. So getting to know your creator, having a personal relationship with him and, and stress is one of the tactics that the enemy uses to get you off of the path that God has for your life and you need to recognize that. And I hope that these words inspired and encouraged you sisters in any way. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every Tuesday. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be praying for you guys and I will see you next video. Bye.